Hello, Jonathan Biznet here. And the circuit I have for you today is based on a CMOS 4049 hex inverter chip. And what this is really, what I did with this was basically to use the inverters and keep wrapping them back on themselves, on themselves uh, through basically filters to get uh, three waves out of this. First you get a square wave, then you get a sawtooth, and finally you get a sine wave. Now I didn't design this, I found this as a circuit on the web, and I will include the URL in the description uh, in the text about this video if you want to go find it. Uh, I found it to be very ingenious, and it uh, the interesting part is it uses a couple of LEDs to to take the points off of some of the waves. Uh, it was kind of interesting experimenting with those. I also have involved in here uh, an Arduino Micro and uh, an LCD which I include some information on. But basically starting with this this circuit and a, kind of a picture of it here, uh, you can see that the, the uh, inverters are constantly wrapped back uh, on themselves and then uh, there's a couple more at the end here that filter that uh, triangular wave or the sawtooth wave into uh, a sine wave. Uh, so looking back at our circuit here I've basically got the oscilloscope on the uh, output of the first two inverters and what you'll see is we get a pretty decent square wave out of this. Yeah, that's not going to help, but we get a pretty decent square wave out of this. Uh, not, not much to it. Uh, if we then take and move the, uh, move the scope to the second input and show you that, you'll see that it actually, this is after adding yet another inverter, we get a pretty clean sawtooth. Uh, just from adding another inverter and basically a uh, uh, a cap and a resistor. Then it goes. Then we go through a couple of more, and the final output is over here off of. Let's see. Off of this one, the output of that, and you'll see we get a sine wave. Now it's not real pretty. Uh, it's kind of the, the tips. Uh, are kind of almost squared off a little bit. And I did notice that uh, if I went over here, if I, uh, if I messed with this second LED here, let me show you what happens. Uh, I thought the sine wave actually got a little cleaner. Uh, it, it actually looks a little better if I take that out of the, out of the picture. So I'm not sure I have to look into that some more and understand it, but uh, it... Uh, it kind of changes things up a little bit there. So let me put that back into place. Anyway, so we get that. Then the other thing I did is I put uh, I put an Arduino in here. I found uh, some software out there basically to measure frequency, that type of stuff. And really the software is fairly simplistic software. It's really watching for uh, the wave to cycle uh, from one point below that back up to it, etc. It's really counting the waves. Uh, it's not incredibly accurate, but I mean, it got it got me close enough. And I tied it into an LCD, uh, a four by twenty LCD here, so that I could basically get information such as the actual frequency. And as you'll see, it kind of bounces around a little bit, uh, a little bit over a thousand hertz or one kilohertz. Uh, period pretty close to uh, one millisecond and then you'll see that the pulse widths high and low tend to to bounce around in that uh, 50 to 40 400 uh, five, excuse me 550 to 400 mark uh, so nonetheless kind of interesting uh, I didn't really plan on uh, getting into a lot of detail on the Arduino micro just simply that I did find some software that allowed me to as you can see plug into the output of the uh, output of the chip over there and count the, the cycles. Uh, so anyway, that's the, that's the circuit and as I said I will include the, uh, the URL for the site 
on the description and uh, it's kind of fun to play with uh, and actually a pretty decent circuit from uh, my experience with it. Thank you.